better than last time, which shouldn't be, um, it should be an answer that you like and an answer that gives you some level of comfort. But the, the real answer is how well prepared are they, period. And the banks are well capitalized. We have instituted reforms since the 2008 financial crisis that are making banks more resilient. And as we are now taking a look at the rules and regulations we put in place, it's something we're constantly keeping in mind. We yep. are preparing for what could be a downturn at some point in time. When you came in, as many other Trump appointees of some of these agencies, you did talk about deregulation, trying to look at some of the post-crisis financial regulation like Dodd-Frank and figure out how to make it a little more lenient. Is that fair? And is that something you've been working on? Well, I personally have never said deregulation, so I try to be very careful. Uh, deregulation would um, assume taking away the regulations. Uh, we're looking at calibrating the existing regulations to a point where they're more suited for the risk profile and the business model of the company and not just putting all the companies with a certain asset threshold or a certain profile into the same category. These are unique companies. These, are, these banks have a unique risk profile in many cases, and I think our regulatory approach would be more tailored to that. Are, are there specific specific policies you're looking at right now? Looking at how we're looking um, both at capital and liquidity at banks, uh, looking at uh, f um, how are we calibrating um, um, the deposit rules for uh, institutions of different sizes, taking a look at the um, VOCA rule as, as well as some other regulations that have been promulgated. We also got the biggest bank merger since the financial crisis this year, BB&T and SunTrust. Have you been? We got the application. <laughs> not, right. not the merger yet. Yes. Okay. Right. Well, you, well, the regulators have to approve it. Yes. How does this look? Is this a good thing or a bad thing for competition? So banks. for if you ask bb and SunTrust, I believe, and I can't speak for them, but I believe they will tell you it's a good thing because it allows them on a technological side to have better investment and uh, provide better economies of scale and efficiencies. If you're looking probably from the um, other banking institutions, uh, I would imagine that the institutions that are larger than that the combined bank would be for bb and and SunTrust would be, um, would be looking at them as, as a viable competitor. And institutions below them, I think, are going to look for opportunities to uh, team up with a new bank and, and uh, hopefully, you know, get get some benefits out of the merger. So it sounds like you're leaning toward letting it go through. I, I can't speak of that right now. We don't. Would you be the regulator? Be Who would be their regulator? Whoever they file their application with. And so it, it, they have a, a choice to make if they're going to be regulated as a, um, uh, by a Federal Reserve, uh, as a Federal Reserve Bank or the FDIC as the FDIC bank. But you do see it spurring other types of mergers from the regional banks? Uh, potentially. I mean, that's always, uh, you know, a, a, a game plan for some of, the, of these entities. And um, I don't know if it would spur them any further than they're already talking about this and thinking through the issues of merging with um, other entities.